Colonel, part of the reason we're in Karathi space is because of your flight. You've done the victory proud. Now, as you may have heard on the grapevine, we're here to destroy this system's military garrison. We're going to have to fight through several waypoints. The enemy's spread out with patrols everywhere. Any ship that can escape to the jump point will be able to alert the rest of the Karathi to our presence here. And that would mean we'd have to scrap this entire offensive. Up. You need to nail every last one of them, Colonel. Consider them nailed, sir. Love that boy, Spunk. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Flash, you're gonna be my wingman. Watch and learn. Dismissed, and good luck. Choke on that, you can be bad. Ah, look at what I see. Break and attack. Now watch this action. Choke on that, you f***ing bad. 
Mission objectives accomplished. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Waited every last one of them, sir. That's what I like to see, cats pushing up daisies. You got clearance. Let me guess, you're an RV, right? RV, sir? <laughs> Recon version, first time behind enemy lines. I think you always fight a little harder when you're on your own turf. Well, you know, Vucaro, we have little choice in where we fight. Get used to it. It is good the missions we now fly. At last, we take the battle to the enemy. Well, a little rocking and rolling is good for the soul, I guess. Strange that despite the skill and courage demanded in flying, a part of the Kerathi spirit is never entirely satisfied by interstellar combat. You like it up close and personal? Mm. We are taught how to use these claws even before we can speak or walk. But this seems savage to you. Primitive. Killing is killing, hot-blooded or cold. You're one of the best pilots we've got, buddy. Don't start second-guessing what you do. Let's get down to business, shall we? I'm ready, sir. This is the kind of mission I take special pride in. We're going to play possum inside the nebula here. Karathi used it to screen convoys coming in and out of this system, and the longer we can stay undetected, the more damage we can do. Again, we can't let a single one of their ships escape, and I don't have to tell you the kinds of hazards you'll face trying to navigate in a nebula. Only the best flyers can make the necessary adjustments, Colonel. I have faith you'll be one of them. I won't disappoint, sir. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Hobbs. You're on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck.
Excited enemy craft, Colonel. Maintain radio silence. Affirmative, Colonel. Break and attack. My target. Affirmative, Colonel. I have dispatched enemy fighter. Mission objectives accomplished.
Hello, Colonel. Good to see you. You're flying high today. Well, word is, things are looking up for the good guys. <laughs> You know, when I was growing up, my father taught us about other campaigns, other wars. Weapons keep changing, but we can still learn from the past. Yeah. Take the Trojan Wars. That conflict also lasted generations. Well, that's the one that ended with the Trojan Horns, right? According to legend, but the important thing is that it did end. <laughs> it's good to know conflicts like this don't last forever. It just seems like it. <laughs> Ah, no rest for the weary, Colonel. Let's get to it. As you wish, Captain. We're packing our bags, getting the hell out of here, Colonel. Intel has a hunch the Karathia are on to us. Get this old barge out of this nebula and to the jump point, okay? And let's try and keep a low profile. I hate long goodbyes. Go to it, Colonel. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Maniac, you're gonna be my wingman. Don't make me regret it. Dismissed, and good luck. <laughs> it's party time. Break and attack. Watch and learn, Colonel. There's no time to explain now, but it appears that the Karathi have somehow closed off the jump. How the hell can they do that? I mean, that's not possible. Uh, we're heading to what navigation thinks is an alternative jump point. We're downloading those coordinates to you now. Keep your fingers crossed that Nav's found us a door that isn't closed. Meanwhile, keep the enemy off our back. my wing. Not possible, Ace. <laughs> it's party time.
Watch and learn. Colonel. Break and attack. Watch and learn. Colonel. Good job, girl. Thank you, sir. Great mission. Thanks. Way to go, sir. Outstanding. <laughs> of this Terran incursion. My thoughts exactly, my liege. The Emperor, of course, must stay focused on the larger picture, our ultimate triumph. Which the heart of the tiger continues to jeopardize. I have waited many, many years, and now it is time. The trigger. An excellent plan, my liege. Prepare to send the message. You know the aerial system like the back of your paw. And you claim you had no clue of what was waiting for us? No more than you, Lieutenant. You're a liar. Why didn't you warn us that your kind could close jump points? Lieutenant, I do not believe our shared enemy closed the jump point. Hey, I wasn't hallucinated when it went off my screen. Our esteemed captain has theorized that the enemy cloaked the jump point. The characteristics of the nebula undoubtedly made this possible, and explains why the aerial system had been used for so long as a convoy passing. Play along with her. Lieutenant! Excuse me. Colonel Hobbs' loyalty is not to be questioned again. Is that understood?
Colonel Blair, report to the bridge on the double. Colonel Blair, report to the bridge. What's going on? All our comm systems have been jammed. And guess who's behind it? Come on, Lieutenant. Don't tell me you can't do anything. I'm trying, sir, but it looks like some kind of video virus. Or should I say worm? Ah, this looks like a major debug. I have read your Terran Bible with its predictions that there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. It is about to be fulfilled. We will tear your tongues out. We will scoop out your brains. It ain't all they'll do if they ever get their paws on us. You will be prime examples to the other races in the galaxy and clownish baboons for our amusement. For baboons, we sure have been getting our shots in, Senor Gato. Your race will suffer a thousand torments and more. Do not be emboldened by the presence of the heart of the tiger among you. Colonel Blair will be reduced to a pile of entrails. I will see to it personally that you pay for every noble Gilrathi who has died at your hands in combat. I leave you and your miserable comrades to contemplate your ignoble futures. <laughs> I didn't know you and he had a history. Yeah, Thrakath and I've gone a few rounds. Seems to have a special nickname for you. It's news to me, Captain. An honor I could do without. You ask me, the cats are running a little scared. Uh, perhaps our incursion into Ariel has something to do with that. Hobbs! Gerasi <laughs> believe always that war is psychological. It is a contest of wills as much as women. Talking trash is all I call it. It is the politics of superiority. Or perhaps one of my race's more admirable social constructs. Social construct. A pack of animals with admirable social constructs. Captain, we have a crafty force heading our way. I think they came through that last jump point. It doesn't look like they're running scared, sir. I'll see you in the briefing room. Well, ain't we the lucky ones? Just jump from one nebula to another. Seems we've just signed on to the whole Galactic Nebula Tour package. Well, look on the bright side, maniac. Which is? It ain't any easier on the Kilrathi. They gotta navigate through it, too. I don't know. Sometimes I think they got eyes in the back of their head. A weird cat thing. At least you'll be able to find something to hide behind. It's funny. Close the goddamn jump points? What's next? I, I mean, they got us between their paws. It's just a question of time now. I don't know they can close the jump points. Theory has it they just cloaked one. <sighs> to think. The only reason I'm here is because I lost a goddamn bet. See where shooting off your mouth gets you. You're not putting much stock in all that hot air the Thrak-Calf decided to blow our way? No, sir. Good. 
Headquarters pretty sure the Karathi have a special device in Ariel that enabled them to use nebula gases to throw a curtain over that jump point. Now, Confair thinks Ariel is the only system where they have this capability, since that's where they carried on so much of their convoy traffic. Well, that's good news. I don't feel like running into many more closed doors. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously the Prince's transmission was a good indication they're coming after us hot and heavy. So, we're going to split from our escorts once we enter this nebula, and you're going to protect these two destroyers. Navigation has located a new jump point inside the nebula, which we can use for our retreat once we've taken out enough of our pursuers. Give it your best, Colonel. Dismissed. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Flint, I want you to be on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck. Bogey's in sight. Breaking attack. Taking it to him. Attack my target. Roger that. Enemy target destroyed. Say good night, kitty. Woo! One left. Status. No problems, Colonel. Bogey's in sight. What's your status? No problems here, Colonel. My father holds very definite ideas about flying under these conditions. He feels you can always find a way to fling the obstacles back in the enemy's face. I got a hollow mail trans from him after Rollins got communications back up. What's your father flying these days? Oh, only a desk, unfortunately. I'll bet he wishes he was behind the stick. Oh, you better believe it. It's like an addiction, isn't it? I mean, once you get hooked. You know, I'd like to meet him someday. It's guys like him who really wrote the book on how to fight this war. Yeah, well, he'd like to meet you. 
I told him I was flying with you, and he was very impressed. Really? Thanks. Listen up, Colonel. As usual, we have our work cut out for us. No doubt, sir. You see these Karathi fighters that have suddenly left the main flock? I think they figured out where the jump point is, and they plan on getting out of the nebula radio shroud to sound off about it to the main fleet command. You are to stop every last one of them from getting out and being able to send a clear trans. Good luck, Colonel. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Flash, you're gonna be my wingman. Watch and learn. Dismissed, and good luck. down, sir. Guess the rest of the litter ain't gonna find out about our new jump point. Captain, it's time we get out of here. You are cleared to land.
Let's get down to business, shall we? I'm ready, sir. Get us to the new jump point, Colonel. Word is Confed's got some other plans for us, and it'd be a shame to disappoint them. But since we're moving such a large force, you can bet the Karathi will want to give us one of their noisy send-offs. Good luck, Colonel. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Hobbs, you're on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck. objectives accomplished.
need clearance, TCS Victory. You're cleared, Colonel. Cast this once we got company coming. Uh, I sure hope it's young. and a privilege having you aboard, Admiral. Pleasure, Captain. Thank you. Sir? Ah, well, looks like a good bunch. Well, the legendary Colonel. It's good to see you again. Thank you, Admiral. But there are no legends aboard this ship, just pilots trying to get the job done. Well, I'm not sure such modesty becomes you, Colonel. Let's see if we can add to the legend. Hmm? Oh, I've brought my own cook on board, so let's see if we can get some decent food. Must seem like old home week to you. First the Kilrothy Prince, and now Admiral Tolwyn. Who'll be next? Sorry, I know who you're thinking about. Do you? You must be a mind reader. No, I just know more about your history than you might be aware of. She's a colonel in covert ops, right? How did you become such a student of history? That was my weapon growing up. Being the girl, I had to have something to get an edge. And one thing I know about my history is that you and the Admiral have crossed paths more than a few times. <laughs> Bumped heads is more like it. And he knows history, too. Plus every rule and regulation. Yeah, he just doesn't know the human heart. His job is the same as yours or mine, winning the war. I can't do anything about how he chooses to go about it. Yeah, well, even if you don't agree with him? Hey, I rarely agree with him. But he is an Admiral. Welcome, Colonel. As you may or may not know, we are currently en route to the Torgo system, where we will rendezvous with destiny. Gentlemen, I give you the Confederation's finest achievement, the behemoth. After a decade of secret research and development, our greatest minds have created the device that will spell doom for the Kilrathi. Behemoth is a series of linked, superconducting energy amplification conduits, focusing an output of 500 million gigawatts into one lancing point. Any target at the end of that point is destroyed. Even a planet? Yes, Captain. Even a planet. We would have liked another year or two for testing and development, but unfortunately, circumstances have forced me to deploy the weapon now. And might I ask why? Admiral. Well, you should know the answer to that more than anyone else, Colonel. The classified and bitter truth is that Confed has been losing the war this past year. If the current trend continues, 
The Kilrathi will be walking on the earth in six months, maybe less. So, the behemoth must be pressed into service earlier than anticipated. Because of this accelerated deployment, the ship's defensive systems are, well, how can I put this, uh, somewhat incomplete. There are a few uh, soft spots located here and here, where the shields are thin. There's been no time to complete keel mounts or laser turrets. I expect you to be especially aware of these areas, Colonel. It'll be your job to protect and defend this ship. This should be looked upon as the Confederation's last ditch effort to win the war outright. Yes? Yes, thank you. I understand. Thank you. Well, the download is complete. We have arrived at Torgo, gentlemen, where I had hoped for a nice smooth rendezvous with the behemoth. But as is their wont, the Kilrathi have spoiled the party. Colonel? This is undoubtedly the most important mission you've ever flown in your life. You must defend the behemoth at all costs. I want a magnum launch. All fighters up. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Turn to base. You Break an attack. Taking it to him. What's your status? Check. 
project is accomplished. What's your status? No damage yet, Colonel. Clearance, TCS Victory. Colonel, you've just confirmed my belief that you and the Victory were the correct choices for this undertaking. The behemoth requires some light maintenance prior to moving out, so we won't be leaving this system just yet. You're cleared for landing, Colonel. I suppose this wouldn't interest you. Coded transmissions? Yeah, about a million of them. And they're weird, too. Not the usual codings. I can't even begin to break them. Lieutenant, we have an admiral on board. Now, his transmissions are supposed to be coded. Colonel, I've been around high rankers before. This is definitely different. <sighs> Damn Tolwyn. He's always got something up his sleeve. Are you sure about this? <laughs> Sir, I know there are times when you think I'm a little crazy, but I do know my job. Well, keep me posted. Yes, sir. Elsewhere on the war front, a Blitzkrieg Kirathi assault has taken the lives of thousands of Confederation service people as they were enjoying a concert put on by the megastar Rickenharp against the backdrop of the Stango Ten's priceless millennia-old art treasures. The surprise attack has reduced the beautiful ancient structures to rubble, and Rickenharp himself is said to be in critical condition. This is Barbara Miles with another TNC Infoburst. Thanks for watching. Ah, our local hero. Well, I must say that so far I'm very impressed you haven't lost your touch. May we uh, speak privately, Admiral? Get it off your chest, Colonel. Sir, it's a little unclear to me precisely what your status is aboard this ship. Look. I took the helm of the Behemoth Project ten years ago. And there's no intention to usurp command? <laughs> well, I'd be a little more careful regarding my choice of words, Colonel. Admirals, by definition, do not usurp. I thought at long last we'd achieved a measure of respect for each other. Obviously, I was wrong. You may realize by now that your assignment here was a little more than merely fortuitous. We're headed to kill Ra with that thing, aren't we? Well, what would you aim for if you had the biggest gun in the universe? Grandma, what a big gun you have. <laughs> they don't get any bigger. That's what they all say. Talk is cheap. Maybe you haven't noticed, but the shields on this thing are really thin. 
I guess it sucks up so much juice that the usual standard equipment gets shortchanged. That's probably in the specs for next year's model. Yeah, and Christmas tree lights, too. Looks like it might be getting back to normal around here. Hmm. Can't say it'll ever be normal while the Admiral's on board. It takes a certain sort to be an Admiral, me. I'll take guiding just one ship. The day-to-day -day successes are more tangible. Let's get to it, Colonel. The behemoth's not ready to move out yet, and we need to keep the Kirathi away from it. Mind these four jump points and make sure that they take out all comers. We'll eventually need this fifth point for our exit with the behemoth. Clear? So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Hobbs. You're on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck. enemy craft, Colonel. Objectives accomplished. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Oh, yeah. Keeping this ray gun scratch free is getting to be a pain in the butt, eh, Colonel? But I guess the behemoth lives to see another day. You're clear to land.
pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. Ah, oh, Colonel. Now that we've got the behemoth repaired, we gotta fuel her up, and believe me, she's got a mighty big thirst. Intel has informed us an enemy tanker convoy is traveling through this asteroid belt. Now, you need to disable a minimum of three of their tankers. Our fleet will enter the belt through this jump point. The behemoth will always be about four minutes behind you, so that's all the time you'll have to take out whatever the Tarot is sending away. You leave immediately. Maniac, you're gonna be my wingman. Don't make me regret it. Dismissed, and good luck. Disabled. Objectives accomplished.
<laughs> Don't say a thing. Heard you got chewed out by the Admiral himself. Yeah, well, I guess I should wear that as a badge of honor. According to the Admiral, sloppy dress means sloppy work. Well, excuse me for not heading to the cleaners every time I swap out a part. Well, he sticks real close to the regs. Yeah, well, after this war is over, I'm gonna make it my mission to loosen the screws on every moving part belonging to guys like him. Yeah, well, save a screwdriver for me, will you? Want to buy a ticket, sir? To what? Opening night party of my cantina. People are saying the war is almost over. Once we pull the trigger on that bohemian thing, it'll be hasta la vista, los gatos. There's been a change of command, Colonel. No disrespect intended, sir, but why am I not surprised? Well, as we move closer to the deployment of the behemoth, I've decided to assume command personally. I hold the fate of the Confederation in my hands. Well, let's get down to business, shall we? We are about to enter the Loki system where we will test the behemoth on Loki 6, home to a small Kilrathi military base. Loki 6 is a unique planet in that it orbits a quasar. As you know, the quasar blocks out all stellar communications. So the base will be unable to call for help. But by the time the Kilrathi sent out a ship to investigate, we shall be pulling up just outside downtown Kilra. But before we can test fire the behemoth, a little house cleaning is in order. On this mission, I'd like you to sweep out Loki 6's surrounding environs. Don't leave any strays out there. We don't need anyone bothering us when we line up the weapon for its first test. Got it. Understood, Admiral. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Flash, you're gonna be my wingman. Watch and learn. Dismissed, and good luck. I see. Break and attack. Yeah, watch this out.
my victory. In your whiskers. You pathetic descendant of monkey. Time to see your bed, kitty. is accomplished. What's your status? No damage yet, Colonel. It's like Tolwyn's about to steamroller another career. I told the captain to look out, but would he listen? <laughs> Maniac, when have you known someone to actually take your advice? I just told him I speak from experience. You poisoned Tolwyn against me from the start. He's had it out for me ever since. I've got news for you. Tolwyn had nothing to do with your lack of promotion. Your flying style took care of that for you. Tolwyn doesn't even know you're alive. Oh, that's what you think. Everybody knows about the Maniac. Everybody. How many people here know about the Maniac? Oh, what, nobody? Sir. You seem awfully keyed up. I'd ease back on the throttle a little, if I were you. We're a long way from Kilra. Not a moment too soon, I can tell you that. You know, I don't think I've seen anyone as anxious to waste the enemy as you. Oh, I'd blast planet after planet if it would breathe the galaxy of Kilrathi. There's no justification for their existence. And that includes your buddy, Hobbs. Jesus, Lieutenant, it's like an endless loop with you. You have no clue. So enlighten me. They took me when I was 10. Who, the Kilrathi? Slave labor camp. I escaped when I was 20. <sighs> must have been. You have no idea what it must have been. I saw things. The psych guy spent two years trying to pry things out of my head after I escaped. 
But you can't wipe it all. There's a little bit of Kilrathe prowling around inside of me, and I can't get it out. One day there won't be any human left. We're gonna get him. You'll see. Keep telling me that, Colonel. Even if it's not true. speak frankly, Admiral. Well, I've never known you to do otherwise. With all due respect, sir, I don't think your assumption of command has done ship morale much good. I'm not really interested in public opinion polls on my tactical decisions. And as I recall, you weren't particularly enthused about your own transfer to this vessel when it happened. That was before I was acquainted with its crew, sir. Ah, yes. A fine quality, your transfer of Loyalties. Project Behemoth needs a guardian angel. I've been with it since its inception. The choice was clear-cut and indisputable. We all have just one superior, Colonel. The progress of the war. Yes, sir. Colonel, you shouldn't be this far away from the fray. War is everywhere, Captain. No escaping it. I'm not a captain anymore. First time I've been like that since... I don't think I was even shaving when I first took the helm. What am I without a ship, Colonel? Captain. They could promote us, demote us, bounce us all over the galaxy. There's only one thing that matters. That first time you shaved, you could look yourself in the mirror. You can still do that now. This is a simple one, Colonel. Cover me while I fire the behemoth. Sounds simple enough, Admiral. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Vagabond, I want you as my wingman. Dismissed, and good luck. We got company. Break and attack. Here we go. You pathetic descendant of monkey. Prepare to die.
Mission objectives accomplished. It's been many years since I have been this near to Kilron. I'd understand if you had mixed feelings about the behemoth and what it's about to do. It has been a long war that has turned all of us inside out. There will be Kilrathi that survive, and when the war is over, they'll understand what you did. No one ever will truly understand what I did. But your loyalty has meant much to me, my friend. This is it, Colonel. I've been waiting ten years for this glorious moment. We're about to hit the jump point. From there, it's straight to Kilra. Protect the behemoth at all costs. The future of the Confederation depends on it. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Maniac, you're gonna be my wingman. Don't make me regret it. Dismissed, and good luck. Break and attack. Watch and learn, Colonel.
heart of the tiger has failed his race. He has failed himself. He has failed the human he knows as Devereaux, Angel, his lair mate. He has failed. His heart has not been valiant enough. His warring has not been skillful enough. And he has failed a true warrior, the Angel, for she displayed her. You bore me, monsieur. Disintegrate me so I might join my comrades. Disintegration is not for you. Your fate will be different. The human cannot appreciate the honor that I am about to bestow her. She is not only a great warrior, but her lair mate is the heart of the tiger. You have slain many of my finest fighters during your career. You 